We've out pizza the hut, dominated the fast food Goliaths of the world, and now I think that it's time that we also venture a little bit into the coveted snack world. To but better episode, episode 17. I'm doing this for a little while, huh? <laughs> for the record, we're gonna keep doing fast food. Don't worry, that's not going away. That's the whole baseline of the series, but I also wanna start doing snacks because a lot of people have requested it, a lot. And IG DMs, blah, 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 so on and so forth. You keep asking me. I don't really make cheese powders that often, but I do make cheese foams. But uh, you know, we're gonna give this our best shot and we can see how close can we get to a Dorito and can we make it better? So with all that said, let's make this, shall we? We're not gonna go to 7-Eleven, because 7-Eleven, I feel like they're not gonna like <laughs> a camera in there. Or what's the place that people just don't care? Walmart. Look at this. These are new. Poppables? I mean, I, I like the concept, but why? Okay, um, okay, Doritos. Should we get the party size? Doritos is over, party. <laughs> what is the difference between these? But there's more air. Here's the air, here's the air. This is the same amount of chips. You're already on the down right now. For the first time, we truly have the bag. The sound of this triggers my, I remember when I was like in class and I would like try to open a bag of chips without the teacher hearing and it's like. <sighs> so, Doritos. Uh, they've rebranded so often. This is like, this new brand is so aggressive. Why? Doritos, why did it need to be so aggressive? They're, they're, they're nacho cheese chips, all right? We don't need a laser crunching and slicing through your lettering. This is for epic gamers only. Epic gamers? This is for you. You got the classic Dorito smell, right? I wish more of these were triangular. The majority of them are actually like all like half pieces. I mean, they're Doritos. Like they're, they're kind of good. They're kind of good. The one thing I have to say about Doritos, they're nacho cheese flavored. No, this tastes nothing like cheese. I don't even know how to describe this. They taste like Doritos, which tastes good. So what if we made an actual nacho cheese flavored chip? Now first things first, let's make our flavor powder. So I thought for a while exactly how I'm gonna make this. So I looked around on Amazon, turns out cheese powder is actually really easy to find. And so I just bought some cheddar cheese powder, some white cheese powder, you know, the links will be in the description for that. So for this method, in a bowl, you're gonna combine one cup or 112 grams of cheddar cheese powder, a quarter cup or 30 grams of white cheddar cheese powder, a quarter cup or 35 grams of buttermilk powder, that's optional, two and a half tablespoons or 15 grams of nutritional yeast. Yeah, okay, it sounds gross, but it's kind of tasty, so. Two teaspoons or seven grams of MSG. Yes, you heard correctly. If Doritos is gonna do it, I'm doing it too, all right? one tablespoon or seven grams of onion powder, two teaspoons or six grams of smoked paprika, and finally, one tablespoon or 14 grams of fine sea salt. Give that some whiskey business until thoroughly combined, and that is your cheese powder flavoring. So it turned out a little more neon than I expected. Okay, so let's talk about making chips. Of course, you can mix together your masa flour. Ideally, it would be better if you had nixed them all and all that and ground your own corn, but let's be humble for a second, okay? We're making cheese powder chips. If you want it fast, just buy some corn tortillas, place the whole tortillas evenly spaced apart on a baking sheet, toss them in an oven at the lowest setting possible for 10 minutes to dry them out, and then cut them into quarters, and now they're ready to fry. Then all you really have to do is get a large heavy bottom pot, fill it up with at least two inches of oil, make sure it doesn't go any higher than the halfway mark of the pot, otherwise it's a fire hazard, and that is bad. Now you just take that there pot of oil, Place it on a stove top over medium heat. All right, I'm gonna stop that now. And heat that until it reaches around 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius for my metric homies. Then in batches, making sure not to overcrowd the pot, fry your chips for about two to three minutes, submerging them and flipping them every so often so that they get evenly fried. And as soon as those chips sort of stop frying and bubbling and they're just kind of floating there, you're then going to remove them from the oil, place them on a wire rack set over a baking sheet, and then immediately dust with your cheese powder. Now notice how I'm not sprinkling here. It really works a lot better if you're using a fine mesh sieve and just kind of tapping it out that way. We want that real even coating. Then just give those chips a flip and dust them yet again with your cheese mixture. I know that you might think, oh, well, Josh, why can't I just toss it in a bowl? Yeah, that's a practical thought, but it doesn't really work very well. And if for some reason the cheese powder isn't sticking to the other side, just get a spray bottle, fill it with a little bit of vegetable oil and lightly spray them prior to dusting them and it should definitely stick that way. 
Then just rinse and repeat with the rest of your chips. And that right there, well, it actually looks kind of different than a Dorito. But okay, maybe we go back to the drawing board and try to make our own cheese powder. Get any cheese that you want, and you're gonna slice it as thinly as physically possible. Kind of tough to do uh, with a knife that's super flat like this. But here I've got some Parmigiano Reggiano, obviously some cheddar cheese, some Pecorino Romano, and finally some Gouda. All right, the Dutch are already screaming. It's Gouda, Gouda. I, I don't, I don't know. I'm trying. Then place those on some dehydrator sheets, evenly spaced apart, assuming you have a dehydrator. Place them in your dehydrator, which has been set to 125 degrees Fahrenheit or 52 degrees Celsius, and let them dehydrate for anywhere between 24 to 48 hours or until they're completely dry and crisp and snappable. Then take them out. You're gonna need to generously dab these off, by the way, because they, they just release so much cheese oil. I was not stoked about that, but you do what you gotta do. For the cheese. Then just blend those separately, okay? Don't blend them all at once. Blend those separately on a high-speed blender as high as it'll go until you get a nice powder. Rinse and repeat with every cheese. Then grab yourself a bowl. Now this one's a mouthful, so get ready. Three tablespoons or 20 grams of nutritional yeast, which I'm actually running through a fine mesh sieve just to get it a little bit finer than the last time. Followed by half a cup or 60 grams of Gouda powder, a quarter cup or 30 grams of Pecorino Romano powder, half a cup or 60 grams of Parmigiano Reggiano powder, half a cup or 60 grams of cheddar cheese powder. I'm sorry. This is just funny. One tablespoon or 14 grams of fine sea salt. Obviously, you're two teaspoons of MSG. Muy importante, let me tell you, brother. Two teaspoons or seven grams of ground white pepper. One tablespoon or 10 grams of onion powder. And one tablespoon or 12 grams of smoked paprika. Give that some whiskey business, and that is our secondary seasoning. It's the exact same procedure. Fry your chips, season them generously with your cheese powder. And now we've got two different chips. We've got the store-bought cheese powder, we've got the dehydrated cheese powder, and then we've got the Dorito. Now let's see which version of ours tastes the closest, and if we want. So, we have... Ditos. Ditos, Ditos, and Ditos. They all look relatively similar, but you can definitely visually tell which one the Doritos are. Pre-made cheese powder. First off, this slaps, but it doesn't exactly taste like Doritos. I don't know that that's necessarily bad. Now this is made with real cheese. <coughs> Weirdly enough, the, the, the homemade cheese powder actually matches the flavor of the Doritos way closer. And I think that has to do with the umami qualities of the cheeses being intensified. MSG helps. God, this is a tough one, you know? I need, I need thick one. Please test. <laughs> Time for the side show. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. But you're gonna dodge tortillas. Five seconds. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> Five seconds, one. Please <laughs> stay <laughs> Dodge most of them. Oh, good. Good job. Good job. Oh, you're standing on one. Uh, we have our three Ditos. I'm rolling our Ditos. This Ditos first. Ditos number one. Which inside can grab a chip. There you go. Number two. Yeah. Ditos number three. You eat the Ditos. Which one do you think the Doritos are? Three. Yeah. It's just so obvious. It's it's a pretty iconic. It's, now between the first two, which do you think was closer? So the second one was it was cheesier. I'd say cheese wise, the second one is closer. I kind of agree. Neither of them really even taste like Doritos though. That's the funny thing. None of them are really bad. This is supposed to be nacho cheese flavored, mm -hmm. but to me this tastes more nacho cheese flavored. I agree. So who's really the winner? Doritos win at being Doritos. Nacho cheese being nacho cheese. It's not <laughs> nacho cheese. That's the verdict. Now, with that said, you can also still enjoy a beautiful nacho cheese chip. Okay, Papa, I love you, bye! Ah! All right, all right, maybe not a precise winner here, but do you wanna know what else is as good as powdered cheese? B-roll. of a burrito, but more like we just made a nacho cheese chip that was really good. It's This is a weird one, you know? We're starting off our first snack butt better, and it's not, I don't know that I would say that it's better. It's just so different. And, and no, I'm not taking this as an L because it's just extremely different. Okay, people are probably gonna be in the comments like, oh, you know, you gotta rematch Creepy Cream and Doritos. Well, I will be doing that. I will. But if you want an amazing homemade nacho cheese chip that is made completely from scratch, this is the way to go, dude. All right, you wanna do this one. I think that we win the game of making a nacho cheese chip, but making a Dorito, I just don't know what their secret Dorito spice is, but we got pretty dang close. So, whether you make these Doritos or not, I hope you enjoyed the journey. And I hope it gets you thinking about all is possible just with a little bit of time, effort, and love. I think that if I had a little more time to develop this, we would have had a 
spot on ones. So there may be a little bit of a rematch in the future, but for the time being, if you enjoyed this video or you learned something, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Thank you.